Now let's look at configuring profitability analysis. So in your SPRO menu path, you come down to controlling, profitability analysis, and you have structure, master data, planning, flows of actual values, information system, and tools. So first we define the structures. And first step is you can see define operating concern. So let me just expand that. And here you have maintain characteristics, maintain value fields, maintain operating concern. So let's look at the maintain characteristics transaction. Let's execute this. And let's see all the characteristics which are available in the system rather than specifying any specific operating concern. So I just clicked on all characteristics and click on display. And this displays all the characteristics in the system. So this mentions the characteristics ID, the description of that, a short text for this because it's a long text, so it's a short text. The type of characteristics which says CHAR, which means it's a characteristic, whether it's in numeric format or characteristics format, the length of that characteristic value, four characters, three characters, two characters, and so on. Origin table from which table it's coming from, and it's a table ID. And this is the field for each table. You have many different fields, and this is a field ID. So, for example, the BRSCH is an industry characteristic. It has four characters. It comes from the KNA1 table, and its origin field is BRSCH. The same characteristics can come from different tables also. For example, let's just go down and see another characteristic. We can see another characteristics. ID is KM land. Description is country. You can see country over here. Characteristics CHAR, so it's made up of characters. Three digit length from table K and A1, and the field name is land1. So, like this, you can decide which are the characteristics you want, and you can see for each type of characteristics, the table name is also given. For example, material group, characteristics ID is MATKL comes from the MARA table, MARA, which is a material mass related table, and the field ID is MATKL, product hierarchy, and so on. So these are all set of different characteristics which you can use. Region, REGIO, KNA1, and REGIO. KNA1, this all come from the customer master data tables. So let me, let's go back and now set which characteristics we are going to use with our operating concern. So go back back once more and we'll proceed to the next transactions. Let me show you the value fields even though we'll not be using this because we want to use account based COPA but for those who have been using costing based COPA if you want to know about value fields just execute this transaction similar to the characteristics screen also here you can switch between characteristics and values so if you click on this you go back to the characteristic screen if you click on this you come to the value field screen and if you click on display it gives all the value fields which is available in the system. As you can see, value fields are either in amount or quantity because there's been some numerical value which you can specify. For example, sales quantity is in quantity. Other items are all in amount. Revenue, manufacturing cost, fish production cost, all these are value fields. And for each of these value fields, as you can see, you must mention to the system what are the GL accounts or the cost elements making up this value field? So you need to assign that in a separate transaction. Let's go back. We will not be making any value fields. We will go back to our main screen. Go to controlling, profitability analysis, and we will look at structures, define operating concern, so we have seen characteristics, we have seen value fields. Now let's go and execute maintain operating concern transaction. So let's execute the transaction maintain operating concern. So here you need to define your operating concern. So in this one, remember, you can assign multiple controlling areas to the same operating concern. But if you want to make it simpler, you can specify for one controlling area, one operating concern also, if you just want to segregate at that level. So now I'm going to create my own operating concern. Let's click on new entries. It's asking you to enter, fill in the required field. So I'm going to click on ZMN name, type that in as my operating concern. And then click on 
the new 